All right, welcome to another episode of Brain 10. We are back with episode 118. Oh, Franklin's not back, apparently. Mm. But Aaron and I are back. Oh, there it's Franklin. Uh, <laughs> today we're going to talk about 10 uh, plus reliable stock photo websites that we've either used or we've stumbled upon or uh, we definitely recommend uh, that you check out. Probably going to be a really quick episode. We're just going to talk real quickly about uh, some of the stock photo websites that we used. And uh, yeah, my name is Christian. And my name is Aaron. Sorry. And I am Kaiser Sose. But uh, that's just a line from another movie. I am Franklin. All right, so let's just get started here. Um, number one is, and this is my go-to whenever I'm uh, usually building websites and I need a quick photo for something, I just go to pexels.com. Um, <clears throat> all their photos are completely free. They're attribution free, so you don't have to worry about doing any of that. Um, and they usually have some pretty good um, photos. Um, obviously, they are kind of stock photos. Not super stocky looking photos, but um, they, um, they look good for, for what I want them to, to look like. So. That's just my go-to, um, and I've been using it for a while now. And uh, usually, I can find what I'm looking for. Sometimes um, I don't, so that's when I resort to other ones. But this is definitely my go-to, uh, Pexels.com. Yeah, I really like that one. That's probably my top one or two as well. So good, a great one to look at. <clears throat> Whatever. Who's doing that? I can hear it on my end. All right, so number two is Death to the Stock Photo. This was, I think, one of the ones that I was using before I found Pexels. This one's pretty cool. Um, it sends you really cool, high-quality stock photos once a month, and hmm. it's delivered direct, directly to your inbox, and they're like cool photos. The good thing about it is that they're great photos. The bad thing is it's once a month. Um, and you don't necessarily know what you're going to get, but they are really good stock photos. Uh, they do have other options to like get other stock photos and like jump into their quote unquote premium features. Mm -hmm. But as far as, um, you know, just getting stock photos and saying, Hey, maybe I can use this. Maybe I could use this. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool subscription service to get in your inbox. And I forget about it a lot of time. And then just every month I get a, you know, a set of stock images in a zip file and download them as I go. Dude. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. I don't even really want to even say anything because that, that's actually like genius, especially if they're unique ones that you've never seen before. Cause some, some of these places they're like, they'll randomly have like one or two of the same like stock mm -hmm. images that's been edited a certain or specific way. Uh, so yeah, that's that's super helpful. Uh, so my next, the next one that I'm going to talk about is called Finder, like find a photo, and it's actually Finder.photo. Um, this is a short and sweet uh, description of what it is. It's a website where you can find stock photos, but this one actually already has like specific keywords that are already <clears throat> that are already like up on the screen. If you're looking for a landscape photo, you can click landscapes and it, it'll bring up all the landscape photos that are there. Um, let's see. Or you can search. Give me one second. Let me pull it back up. So, um, and then they also have like different things that are like, uh, you guys know what Boca is, right? Like, okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what Boca is, Boca is like the extreme blur that's in the background of most images. Like if you get like, Using the uh, iPhone 7 when you take a photo and like it like create it goes into what uh, Apple's calling it, the portrait portrait mode and it like puts seven plus it's the seven plus oh seven seven plus sorry um, yeah it sounds really ignorant I love Apple products um, well that phone the seven plus uh, like does some extreme blur to the background that's called bokeh but. Like there are different categories like aerial, bokeh, close-ups, curves, glare. Like clicking one of those things, it'll bring up all the different images that actually have those like effects in them. 
Uh, and then you can also go up in the search bar and actually like, type something specific that you're looking for as well. But they've already categorized out a lot of things based off of uh, uh, most commonly searched uh, keywords right there on the front screen of, of the uh, web app. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the browse by color too. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, number four is visualhunt.com. <clears throat> and Visual Hunt, I mean, again, it's just another one of those um, that I've used in the past. I usually find um, – this one actually also has the, that color search. Um, I usually find things that I – that are not necessarily on pixels, so that's why I like it. <clears throat> um, and I think this one, if I'm not mistaken, um, pulls some images from Flickr. So Flickr, I think, is owned by Yahoo, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Flickr is just basically a collection of photos that people actually just post online. Um, but you have the ability for to put the attribution or the, the copyright that you want on those images. and uh, to be honest, like there's a lot you can go actually to Flickr and search for images and search for um, the ones that are, you know, are attribution free, so you can actually use them for whatever you want. Um, and I think Visual Hunt adds some of those pictures to their uh, searching, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so usually, if I can't find something on Pixels, Visual Hunt will will have it, um, and it'll pull them from Flickr. And actually, if if you want, you can actually use Flickr too, um, but it's just a little bit harder to search yeah i wasn't a fan of Flickr, but i like that this pulls it from there these pictures are really cool though they're like high high quality <clears throat> all right so number five is stock up this is um it's actually from sitebuilderreport.com and they just have a forward slash stock up the reason i like this one was um Again, it was something different, some things that weren't necessarily on Pexels. Um, and I can't remember if this is the one or not that, okay, yes, it pulls it from like 28 different sites. So it is like a search engine. Um, and I believe that they are also all free, but they're just pictures of like things that, I don't know, you don't see on Pexels or anything like that. Or if, if they are similar, they're, they're not the same one. So um, just a different variety of stock photos that you wouldn't necessarily find on other websites. And I say that and then I see one, I see one of them that I've seen on another site. Well, that's the thing, like a lot of these that we're mentioning, or not a lot, but some of them are exactly what yours is, which they just pull from the same pool of, of, of images. Um, <clears throat> Because I think Franklin is talking about Unsplash, maybe? Yeah. Um, and this particular website is actually pulling from Unsplash. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm a fan of those because then you don't have to go to a million sites. So that's another reason I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So next. All right. So this one was kind of like awkward, like for me to like pick, but it was unique. Uh, and I never, I never knew that anything like this existed. And specifically because coming here, coming to uh, prior to coming to Big Brandy, majority of the people or like my clientele were all uh, other ethnicities other than black. And basically what I'm saying is like it was hard to find like stock images for people of color. But this website is called getcolorstock.com where like it's basically based off of other ethnicities that need stock photos. So like every genre that you can think of of what would be in a stock photo from Asian all the way to African-American, Indian, any other ethnicity, Hispanic, like they're all their stock images right there and it's it's definitely not free uh which is uh one of the things that i was kind of like turned off from because we love free and royal they're royalty free but you still have to have like some type of subscription to actually get the photos mm. um and the let's see right here i think the 
the cheapest monthly subscription was like 10 bucks. Okay. So I guess if you're going to use it, yeah. 10 bucks isn't too much, but right. 10 bucks a month, uh, standard license. And then like the, yeah, like the extended license was a hundred bucks start out. But like the exclusive was like 50 and 50 all the way up to 750 bucks. And this is, I think, and I believe that this is actually on each photo. I could, and I could be mistaken, but I just thought that that was unique. Um, like they're claiming to be the first uh, to do it. Just thought it was like kind of neat. Yeah. Is your guys, for some reason, they was just like, their Favicon is just like blank. I don't know. Maybe it's just on my yeah. end. But no, I, it's, it's blank on my end too. Hmm. For some reason, I'm always paying attention to that. <laughs> I didn't know if that was, they did it on purpose because it was like for that. But yeah, that's really cool. Especially if we're about to do something with, you know, it's Native American month or like mm -hmm. Black History Month or something like that. And you need some stock photos. Right. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so the next one. Number seven, it's a uh, Pixabay, and I, again, I think this is one that I think pulls from a lot of other websites. Um, but a cool thing about this one is that it actually includes uh, stock photos, vectors, and some illustrations. So it's not just strictly um, photos. Um, let me see if I can do. Uh, yeah, so yeah, exactly. Um, it's kind of like uh, we use a lot of free pick, um, but we don't use it for pictures. We use it for more illustrations and stuff like that. And Pixabay has a kind of like a, a mix, a good mix of, of photos and, and some illustrations in there um, that are free. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I just like the website in general, actually. And it has a robot on there, the Wally -E robot. So, and a dog with a baby. So they just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna stay on this website for those reasons. I don't know if it auto generates, but those are the ones I got onto. So, like, okay. I, no, mine came out with uh, a wolf pup, a wolf puppy, and the tail light of a really like retro retro car uh oh yeah yeah but go farther down do you not see wally yeah wally's in there okay I see, why don't i see wally hmm what about the puppy with the baby yeah I don't... okay yeah. i see it they that's what i'm saying like marketing wise they put that on there because they're like wow People Look at like all these puppies. things, animals and babies and stuff like that, and kids crying. Come on, that's that's all about. They're just like, oh, let's get them to stay here and choose us because of these things, and it worked. Pull on emotion. Yeah. So, yeah, I really like that one. Um, all right, so number eight is took a pick. <laughs> it's called. The website stock dot took a pic, and these are great pictures because they are taken from actual photographers. Not that the other ones weren't taken by photographers, but they're a collection from all over the place. So um, I didn't know this, but I now I'm a bigger fan of it. Um, this is actually what Gary Vaynerchuk uses a lot of Fast Company, Forbes, BuzzFeed. Um, and they get a lot of their stock photos from here that are done from real photographers. There is a free version and a premium version. Um, and like I said, I picked this before I knew that Gary used it. Otherwise, you know, that would sound like it was a little skewed, but the pictures are just like awesome. Like they are, I mean, I, I think that they are some of the best pictures, stock photos that we've seen. Just, I don't know. They are really great photographers who are taking these pictures. So, yeah, I'm I'm really loving like the saturation and the exposure of some of these. That's the photographer and me talking like the exposure style, the contrast style, like that like the contrast is like pulled out of a lot of the images. Um and the sharpness is ridiculous. 
like that candle on the website, those dots back there, that's what Boca is, guys. Back to the Boca. But yeah, these, mm. these are. I feel like that's a class that we should teach at Bit Raining. Back to Boca. <laughs> back to Boca. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. That is a really good title for a class. Back to Boca. But no, this is. This is. Oh, yeah. There's some non professional looking ones, too. But well, that's cool because, you, yeah. Um, if you go to like Sock Photo, they give you basically a curated list. But if you click on all, you'll see like some generic, like someone took a picture of someone's vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and that's just <laughs> a vacuum cleaner. Um, and then there's one with like some kind of food or something. And the guy's just holding it and taking a picture like that. <clears throat> well, and but this still, is you actually. Know that, you know, there are actual real photos from people who are just taking pictures. Right. A little side note for SEO purposes, um, if you guys are interested in it, is that you want to be on sites like this with a bunch of traffic and free stock photos. Not necessarily that somebody buys your photo, but exactly what Christian's saying. Like that guy who has a picture of a vacuum cleaner, he has all the hashtags for vacuum cleaner and all the tags for vacuum cleaner. And maybe he owns a vacuum cleaner company somewhere else. He'll actually start ranking because of that. So um, wow. that's another thing is it's an authoritative site. So, um, you know, frankly, we may start putting some of your photography on here and then also using it on our website to help rank our website by doing that. So. Yeah. Uh, side note, I, from looking at this, I've, I've figured out there's a company, which I think they do some of the stuff that we do, but they, they, they have the startup photography section of it. So, uh, yeah, you I and mean, we've seen these photos everywhere. Um, but they just started that website, Startup Photography, and they were like, "Oh yeah, there there wasn't really any startup photos out there, so we kind of took it upon ourselves to do it." And now those photos are just everywhere. Yeah, um, and that's I mean I'm guessing that's what they did. They, I mean, they wanted to be on <laughs> websites like that to get traffic to to theirs. God dog it. What? That's a genius idea. That's what. There's still, I mean, think about all the people who take pictures of mountains. There's plenty of room for us <laughs> to be creating startup photography. Yeah. Oh, Not very much people doing it. Are we going to take pictures of mountains? No, I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of people taking pictures of mountains, and yet there's still a ton of stock photography out there for different people who take mountains. But I kind of wanted to go take pictures of mountains, though. Okay, well, sure. But I get what you're saying. I'm joking. I'm joking around. <laughs> okay, so uh, they already kind of mentioned what I was going to talk about earlier, uh, unsplash.com, which is a really cool uh, website to actually pull uh, stock images from. Um, and they kind of mimic the same style of exactly like the type of images that we like and the ones that I've already been talking about. Uh, the ones with uh, pull saturation out of them, really like gritty digital images, but they have the feel of uh, film uh, photos, super crisp, super clean. Um, and go and check them out. There are a lot of landscape, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, close up images of and uh, really, really, really clean, crisp, professional images right here for you to download. But the real thing that I really want to talk about um, that I think will benefit us, uh, if you guys are interested, it's this uh, slash dot photo. It's actually a plugin that goes into Slack that allows you to search for stock images inside Slack. Oh, cool. From, from Unsplash dot com so i thought that that was pretty cool i thought that that was um i feel like for people that are on a team like ours and we're always creating graphics for for uh for clients and we're looking for graphics for ourselves whenever it comes to designing websites um and we're always like comparing and uh collaborating on exactly what we're going to use i thought that this would be cool because it would uh we could talk about it and then find like an image inside slack and then share it right directly in it without having to leave the platform so 
I thought that was cool, especially the place where the images are coming from has like some really like like I said, super clean, super crisp, and very unique. A lot of the images that I like I've seen on other stock websites, um, I've never seen any of the some of the images that I'm like looking here on Unsplash right now, like super like clean. A lot of these can be used for one client in particular that I'm thinking about like right now, like they're going to be awesome. I'm, I'm in love already, especially with this one photo of the stormtroopers. We don't have any Star Wars clients. No. Not yet. You know how awesome that would be if we had like a Lucasfilm? <sighs> yes, okay. But I digress. Y'all check it out and let me know what you think. I, I almost added it to Slack. Uh, just a second ago, but I was like, wait, I need to talk to them first, but check it out and let me know what y'all think. I think it'd be cool. Yes, and in this talk, I've also had another business idea, so I don't want to say it out loud, give it away, everybody, so just remind me. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so my last one, number 10, it's one that, I mean, I've seen this in the past but we haven't done anything with it because it's so expensive um, <laughs> it's called 2020 and again this is kind of like what the one that Aaron was talking about where photo actual photographers you know they just dump uh, their stuff in here and people use it as stock photography um, but the, I mean bigger companies use uh, 2020 and I mean you can tell because it's like a hundred, a hundred bucks a month, and you get five photos. Uh, One fifty, you get ten photos a month. Um, so it's really expensive, but it had the quality of photos are just amazing. Um, they're <clears throat> not the stocky photos that you would get from like Shutterstock and stuff like that. Uh, but you still kind of get the same. Like you get a lot of emotion. You get a lot of. Um, it's kind of like a slice of life very instagram looking pictures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and yeah. this is basically what bigger companies use i mean obviously they use their own photographer sometimes um and i think there was a way because i remember seeing this a long time ago uh, for you to kind of like request uh certain photos or certain a certain type of angle or something um on different photos and uh, photographers will fulfill that for you um, which is pretty cool um but you can also sign up both ways. So you can buy photos. If you're a photographer, you can sign up to you know put your photos in here. And I'm guessing they get paid pretty well just because of the subscription base. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like oh, you never know when the money's coming um, <clears throat> because they're actually you know having the subscription base. Uh, I'm guessing their photographers get paid pretty well. Man, and do you know like to actually be able to get your images on us on a website like that? It's kind of, I'm gonna say, it's kind of difficult um, mm -hmm. uh, because of the one, the quality of image, then the, it's kind of like, it's basic, uh, I guess you can say it's basic economics, like the supply and demand. Like if the images that you're taking are in high supply, yeah, you're gonna, your images are gonna get approved, they're gonna get shown and people are gonna buy them. Uh, but if it's not, you could be out there shooting in the dark, like just basically what you're, camera out there and just shutter and shutter, 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 and just turn it in and stuff and not getting approved for it. So it's it's difficult, but whenever you get picked, yeah, you're right. Whenever you get picked, you're definitely getting paid and you're definitely gonna make money yeah. doing it. Yeah. We will eventually get stock photos from there. It's kind of like, it's good it's one of the last ones because it's definitely a premium. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> All right, so number 11 is just called goodfreephotos.com. <laughs> and the reason I put this is because if you're looking for specific countries, this is the only one I've seen that, like, if you want to get pictures of Costa Rica, if you want to get pictures of Australia, you can actually, like, country-specific, you can do that. Qatar, Romania, and just get pictures specifically for that. So um, if you're doing travel stuff, this is absolutely a great place to go check out. Um, I don't know how they're submitted or how old they are, but it was just um, 
they're free and you can use them for anything. And it's all based on travel. So, uh, or location places. So I thought it was pretty cool. And if, um, what's good about this one is that you can download it, but then I think it also gives you like a snippet of code or something like that. Oh, but, wow. um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and their Instagram page surprisingly looks nothing like the regular page, which it has like pretty good high quality photos. So, um, if you're looking for travel stuff, this is, this is, a great stock photo location place. All right. So that's been bookmarked. All right. Okay. So last but not least, and I put this on here for a couple reasons. One, because I am addicted to this stuff. Um, and also because I'm pretty sure that there are people out there that can use this, especially for companies that are, like marketing specific, like restaurants and like food trucks and things like that. It's called foodshot.co. Like this is a stock photo website dedicated to nothing but food. It's open source. That means that uh, photographers can donate photos that they've taken of food, drinks, uh, cups, glasses, anything that has to do with the culinary arts. This is the place where you want to shoot your photos and it's a great place to find them. Again, Ooh. Mm. The like one, the first thing that I looked at it, they had this one image of some bread with like, I don't know if it's sugar flour or something, something's flying off of it. And it made me want to eat bread. Um, it just looked like one of those images that's like in an Olive Garden ad or like a great Italian restaurant ad. And you could just like smear like butter over it or like dip it in olive oil. It just made me really hungry. But that goes to show that the photographer that shot it had great work, great glass and great shutter and everything. So in other words, these images are extremely great quality photos for, uh, for what you want to do. And like I said, if you are a photographer and you enjoy taking photos of food, you're not a chef, uh, but you might know a chef or you just like to eat and you like taking pictures of photo of food, photos of food, Photos of food. I'm going to say it right eventually. <laughs> um, this would be a good place for you to actually showcase your work. And again, like Christian and Aaron have already said, make sure you have everything tagged whenever you like upload it and it'll give you an opportunity to be seen from someone that could want you to come out and take images of photos for their restaurant or food truck, or if they're just like a, a uh, what you would call that, uh, independent chef or someone that just likes to like blog about food. And so great opportunity, great opportunity here. I am getting hungry. Yeah, I know. I just get scrolling and just seeing like, yeah, I awesome stopped looking video. at it that. Yeah. I stopped looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like, dude, like, ah, oh, yes. Every image like is actually making me salivate. All right. Well, that sounds like a great time to start making lunch and wrap up this show. Yep. It does. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, dang, that awesome. Um, yeah, I think that was, that was really good. Uh, 12, 13 almost websites. Uh, you can get stock photos. A lot of them, majority of them free, uh, no attribution, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, you have no excuse to get some good quality photos. Uh, we've seen some bad stuff out there. And really, to this day, there's no excuse uh, for you not to find something of good quality and, and not use Google image search uh, for your photography needs. Um, but again, my name is Christian. And my name is Aaron. And I am Franklin, not Kaiser Sensei. Whoever that is, whether we still don't know, Franklin's jokes are just kind of out there sometimes. So if you don't understand them, we're with you. Uh, yes. This is Brain 10, episode 118, 10 plus reliable stock photo websites that you can use today. So go check them out. And subscribe. Thank you. Click that like button. No subscribe button. They're not going to like anything. Oh, yeah. They might subscribe and like it. Yeah, you can do both. But we'd prefer subscribe. <laughs>
Yeah, we prefer subscribe. If you're lazy and it can only do one, do subscribe. Do, do subscribe. All right, I'm going to go see you guys later. All right. All right.